All right, everyone, so now we're going to talk about some half guard positioning, uh, basic things that you need to get started with frames and distance and things like that. First thing I want to cover are like do's and don'ts and major mistakes that most people make whenever you're playing half guard from the bottom position and allowing your partner to basically get to a dominant position where they can start getting some passes going or even look for some submissions. So first thing I want to talk about in half guard is our positioning here. So a lot of people think when playing half guard, your legs got to be connected the whole time and my knee is no longer blocking and I may be just maintaining my frames here. But the way I like to play half guard and the way that I have found to be really effective is maintaining this is like a shield the whole time. So I like to think of my shins as shields and my elbows as frames. So keep your shields up first. That should always be the first thing that your partner comes in contact with. And then your frames are always secondary. Okay, that kind of helps reinforce everything else. So one thing I want you to take notice too, on my legs here, my rear leg on his ankle is always pointed towards the mat. So my toes are pointed down towards the floor to kind of keep his leg trapped here. If there's not much tension, he can kind of just kick his leg out or maybe even step all the way out of my half guard. So keep your foot on top of their, basically as high up on their calf as you can get, and then point your toes down towards the mat. My other foot, is just gonna be close to resting on their hip, but I'm not gonna actually step on his hip here. I don't like stepping on the hip because it does give my partner opportunity to start passing my leg to the other side. And for me, just the length of my legs, I don't like having my leg that close to my chest here. I like being a little bit, uh, my foot hooked across his back here, and then having my shin draped up inside his armpit like this, okay? So now with my hand positioning, I need to reinforce all of my shields with my frames. So if I'm just here, I'm just blocking or doing something with my hands, maybe grabbing him, he can drop his weight pretty heavy on my top side knee and start smashing it down. And then that can start to lead to him passing around the side and you know other things like that. So I need to reinforce my knee because this alone can be really exhausting, especially if you're going against someone a lot bigger than you, dropping their weight on your knee the whole time. So I like to reinforce it with my elbow on the inside of my own knee. And then now I can reinforce my frame by just checking his shoulder like this. This allows me to keep this nice shield and really not have to put too much strain on my outer hip here. by just putting my elbow on the inside, holding his, his shoulder here. And then now the last thing I like to do is reinforce this wrist here. Because the last thing, really the most important thing that you don't want to happen is his hand coming to the inside and getting a cross face. Because at any point in time, he gets this cross face, he can just flatten you out and then start getting his passing going. The next most important thing is that underhook. So if I have space between my elbow and my knee, if he gets an underhook, that's also really bad. And if he gets both, that's like the worst case scenario. So for right now, make sure you keep your elbow on the inside of your knee and that connection the whole time. So it's hard for him to get his underhook. He can't collapse your knee. And then now maintain wrist control on that side. That way his hand doesn't come to the inside. If his hand does come to the inside, you can always block, re-rotate, and then you're back to good positioning. Now. One other thing is if you're too close here, he can still reach and grab your head, even with you having your frames in. So do make sure that you kind of extend a little bit and stay a little far away from his wrist the whole time to maintain good half guard positioning overall.